Hello, what's up, guy? And nice to see you. And very good morning. Today, in this video lesson, I will share with you all about the new points that you can see on your smartphone screen or your computer screen here. That is called, yeah, an international system. But before I let you know about this new point, I'm gonna ask you some question according to the old points, uh, which you studied together last week about my question is what is was feeling system who can answer the questions could you pause the video for a second and also answer together okay what's feeling system it means that a global system right a global system you know based on you have uh, the principle of international law that each state has sovereignty over its territorial and domestic affairs to the exclusion of all external powers on the principle of non interference yeah interfering in another country domestic affairs that is called West Wheeling system yeah West Wheeling system sorry and about the next question yeah what is the actual what is the actual 30 war yeah 30 wars or uh, 30 years war what is the actual 30 wars year yeah who can answer the question what is it again what is the actual the 30 war 30 yeah 30 years war who can answer yes the 30 war years is you know often yes it's very often called a religious conflict since the catholic state confronted protestant yeah the protestant and a catholic country sometimes fought on the same side and a religious dogma was clearly not a first thing on the minds of the yeah, you know the the combatants yeah combatant so that's all about my questions so right now we are gonna learn about to uh, this new point so an international system yeah uh, let's look at together Let's take a look here. The first, I would like all of you to know about the technical terms. Yeah, so there are a lot of technical terms. Yeah, so the first one is called coercive. Yeah, coercive. Coercive, it means that using force to persuade people. Yeah, using force to persuade people to do things uh, that they are unwilling to do. Yeah. That is called coercive. Yeah, coercive. I mean, in our language, in our meaning, it means that that bong kuap Yes, right. And the next one be radically, radically, sorry, be radically, radically, yeah, radically transform. Yeah, be radically transformed. Ban plap do ten strong. Yeah, ban plap do ten strong. And the next one is pursue. To try to discover information about a subject, it means our language is "dear James Spino." Yeah, pursue. And the next one constitutes. Yeah, constitute. Mean to form or make something. Yes, constitute. And the next one further. Further does it mean to develop? Yeah, to develop or make progress in something. To develop or make progress in something, to either move, yes. Interior, yes. Interior, interior. They mean inside, yeah. Interior, inside. And the next one, inside it mean can knong, yes. Can knong. Primpol, yes. Here, look at here. Primpol, primbol, sorry. Primbol, primbol, yeah. Primbol, they mean an interaction to a speech 
or piece of writing that is called preamble yeah preamble preamble we pronounce it preamble sorry again let's pronounce together again preamble yes preamble sorry sorry preamble yeah preamble an introduction to a speech or piece of writing uh, or one more we can say that yeah preamble yeah preamble literally unsinkable yeah literally unsinkable literally unsinkable and uh, the 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 first word is uh, literally when having the real or original meaning of a word or phrase that is called literal neutral yeah literal and the next one is uh, unsinkable unsinkable is mean so shocking that it can be cannot be imagined as possible yeah unsinkable so shocking that it cannot be imagined as possible and the next one is is excluded yeah exclude this is in the past yeah uh exclude yeah exclude means to prevent someone or something from entering a place or taking part in an activity that is called in exclude yeah exclude exclude a harmon or chol or mun rob and chol yes exclude and the next one aristocracy aristocracy we pronounce it aristocracy aristocracy Arister, yeah aristocracy yeah aristocracy is mean a class of people who hold high social rank yeah i mean one apichun yeah aristocracy aristocracy and the next one overthrown yeah overthrown i mean overthrow in it past uh to yeah to defeat or remove someone from power using force with the black group lum yeah and the next one in accordance yeah in accordance in accordance with yeah in accordance with it mean in accordance with a uh, rules law wish etc i mean of following or obeying a rule law which etc that is called in accordance with and principles yeah principle a moral rules or standards of good behavior kolka uh kol salator because salator principle yeah kolka actually it kolka move on to the next yes there are lots of difficult for everybody to know every week so the first uh, the next one is yeah, here uh pharaoh yeah ferociously 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 has been frightening and violent yeah frightened and violent and the next one where who will pay clad yeah who will pay clad uh who will talk slot in the napoleonic wars we pronounce it together please this is the names of the war i was to uh Napoleon's regime yeah Napoleonic wars yeah Napoleonic 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 wars yeah Napoleonic wars and the next one a revolutionary a revolutionary what is it a, a revolutionary take a look yeah so a revolutionary I mean, involved yeah involved in or relating to a revolution that is called a uh, revolutionary but for cut for part of what and the next one patriotism patriotism i mean the feeling of loving a country more than any others or being proud of it yeah proud of it that is called uh, patriotism yeah patriotism uh, and the next one is for for formidable yeah, formidable formidable it mean uh, causing you have 
yeah, causing you to have fear or respect for something or someone because yeah, because they are large, powerful, or difficult. Who I climb, yeah, formidable, yeah, formidable. And the next one, I will run out it. Conger, yeah, conger, conger. Look at here, conger. Conger. It means that. Sorry, uh, to control, to take control or possession of foreign land or groups of people by force. Bang and dab, or we can say bokra. Yeah, conger, conger. So it stands after the the word. Yeah, about you have to add an ng here, conquering. But actually, it's original of this word is conquer. Yeah, conquer. Chồng bắn là đã mưu cọp một trạm. And the next one, overrun. Overrun. If unwanted people, if unwanted people or things overrun, they feel place quickly and in large numbers. Rút bởi điên, rút có hồ hi, if people hi, rút có rút bởi điên nên tập. Yeah. And the next one. Sorry. Uh, defeat. Yeah, defeat. Defeat. Sorry. I mean the, the the fact of losing against someone in a fight or a competition, or when someone or something is made of fail, made to fail. Sorry, but I say, yeah. And the next one, considerable embarrassment, considerable embarrassment, considerable embarrassment. People are much more considerable. Yeah, people are much more considerable. Considerable, considerable embarrassment. And the next one, in tatters. Yeah, in tatters. In tatters, it means badly damaged, badly damaged, or completely. Spoiled, yeah, thick tea, thick tea. And the next one, dissolve, yeah, dissolve, dissolve to end, yeah, to end an official organization or a legal arrangement. Rumbly, yeah, dissolve, dissolve. And the next one, congest, yeah, congest. Congress, sorry, Congress, Congress, Congress. It means the act of uh, conquering. We pronounce it conquering. It is now a conquer. When, uh, sorry, we, we, when it in uh, conquer, we pronounce it conquer. But here in EST, we pronounce it Congress. Yeah, Congress. Congress I means the act of uh, conquering a country. Area or situation, yeah. Ca chụp băng, ca chụp băng làm đau, yeah. And uh, the next one, perspective. Perspective. I mean, the uh, people who are expected to buy something, employ someone, become a parent, etc. Đi pe là nạc cột, đi pe là nạc cột. Pronounce it. Prospect, prospective, nationalist, nationalist, yeah, nationalist. Rally, yeah, rally. We not rally. A public as a meeting, or a large groups of people, especially supporters of a particular opinion, or more dumb, yeah. It is your respond. It is your respond here. It is your respond. Catch light top the bone. It is your respond. And formulate, yeah, formulate to doubt to develop of all uh, the details of a plan for doing something, yeah. Mid mong kaot formulate and move on to the next, yeah, term, a word or expression used in relation to a particular subject, often to describe something official or technical, be it some day, yeah. Term. Uh, the next one is sentiment. Sentiment. 
a thought, opinion, or idea based on a feeling about a situation or a way of thinking about something. Cụm nét, yeah, cụm nét sentiment. So one more, we can say that uh, uh, the sentiment. And defeat already. Yeah, defeat here is a mean yok Yeah. And uh, co uh, congress. Yeah, congress. A large formal meeting of representatives from country or societies at which idea or discussed and information is exchanged. Yeah, sa mai. Yeah. Sa mai. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Vienna, yeah, Vienna, yeah, we pronounce Vienna. Vienna, uh, it means the uh, the capital of Austria, Austria, sorry, the capital of Austria, the Grand Vienna, the Grand Vienna, Vienna, yeah, Vienna. The next one, undermine, yeah, undermine, undermine, to make someone less confident less powerful or less likely to succeed or to make something weaker often gradually undermine yes and demand yes demand demand did to be demand to be yeah. demand did to be included yeah demand did to be included tiêm tía ở đạn châu nữa tiêm tía đạn châu demand it to be included bản tiêm tía đạn châu and the next one uh, liberal yeah. liberal sentiment concerning self determination mà nó sẽ chết rồi nè sẽ lấy phép tiệm tôn rồi gặp anh nhà chất luôn anh and also it is relation of this uh, fresh liberal sentiment Concerning self determination, it means that the rise of a people to determine its own fate. Yeah. And move on to the next slide. Yeah. Far, yeah. Far reaching, far reaching implications. Mean at the pull clang, I think of Paul Paul clang the, yeah. Far reaching implications. And the next one, profound ramification, ramification, profound ramification, hal pah pol yang klang, yeah. And the next, undermined, antarai, redrawn, yeah. It, uh, it is in the word pah perisipol, draw, draw, drew, drawn, yes. Redrawn, I mean to draw something again, to draw something again, sorry, to draw something again. The cool language, the rip jump language. It's plan to plan it again, yes, to draw something again or it again. And prospect, prospect, the possibility that something good might happen in the future. Karupungtuk prospect, yeah, prospect. The possibility that something good might happen in the future uprisings yeah uprisings an act or resistance or rebellion or one more we can say that a revolt yeah a revolt the ball revolt we started already for the previous slide and the next one middle class yeah middle class they mean a social groups that consist of well educated people such as doctor, lawyer, teachers who have good jobs and are neither very poor nor very rich. Or we can say very rich nor very poor. Yeah. Okay. And the next one in inclusion. Inclusion And the next one serves. Yeah. Serves. Serbs, a native, yeah, a native or inhabitant of uh, Serbia, yeah, Serbia, Chinchit Sebi, Chinchit Sebi. And the next one, acknowledge, yeah, acknowledge, 
acknowledge it means to accept admit or recognize something or the truth or existence of something yeah acknowledge the two squall and the next one coin yes look at please do it fastly uh coin coin it verb here it not noun it's function as verb it means to invent a new word or expression or to use one in a particular way for the first time and tacit tacit yeah tacit support i mean tacit to understood yeah understood without being expressed directly if you say about this tacit support it means control and strong yeah without any staging yeah and uh, the names maybe he, today we version everybody study uh, this uh, vocabulary this vo this difficult vocabulary yes a wage war for the sake of glory yeah wage war for the sake of glory uh wage war america was in cream yeah wage war and the next one uh, for the sake of glory i mean them by people in room and by people in room yeah of uh, attune to the aspiration attune to the uh, aspiration yeah some things they put yes some great attune to the aspirations and perpetual perpetual never ending or changing yeah during the whole perpetual perpetual peace and uh, assumptions yeah assumption something that you accept yeah true without question or push and quite feasible quite feasible quite feasible i mean i put the band i put the band quite feasible uncharacteristically yeah uncharacteristically it means uh, in a way uh, that is not typical of a parallel person or things yes and capitalize capitalize to do something as important or to make it capital to make the other people take the more about it is important that is called capitalize okay so i think that uh, for everybody to study uh just from uh these two pages which uh a lot of typical words yeah yeah please read together from the previous page okay okay please let's read together uh an international system the early modern state was a costly machinery designed to make war and to extract resources from society yet at the end of the 30 of uh, the, uh, the 18th century yeah century this machinery came to be radically ra radically yeah, radically transformed or rather the state was combined with a nation forming a compound noun the state nation just yeah, uh, to forming a compound noun I mean state uh, nation state nation and state this called a compound noun which was organized differently and pursue uh different goals a nation in contrast to a state constitute a community of people joined by a shared identity and by common social practices communities of various kinds of kind have sorry, also always existed but they now became for the first time a political concern as the new breeds of nationalist leaders came to argue yeah came to argue the nation should take over the state and make use of it 
uh, institutional structure to further the nation's ends. In one country after another, nationalists were successful in this aim. The nation ended an interior life to the state. We might perhaps say the nation was a soul added to the body of uh, the early modern state machinery. The revolution took place in Britain, North American colonies. Uh, yeah, in 1776 and in France. Uh, in 1789, provided models for other nationalists to follow. Uh, we, the people of the United States, the first word, yeah, this is called the first word of the uh, preamble, yeah, preamble to the U.S. Constitution, was a phrase which itself would have been originally unthinkable in an earlier era. In France, the king was officially the yeah the only legitimate yeah political actor and the people as a whole were included excluded sorry excluded from politics in addition uh, the powers of the yeah aristocracy yeah aristocracy and the church remain strong above all the countryside where they were largest land owners in the revolutions of the 1789 the old regime was overthrown and with it the entire social order the french nation was from now on to be governed by the people the nations and in accordance with the principles of yes of liberty i'm not sure how to read about this uh, french language yeah let's take a look at uh, explanation of this i mean the liberty yes liberty equality and brotherhood yeah and uh, already in 1792 confrontation began between the revolutionary french nation and the king of the rest of europe the war of a uh, to go on for close to 25 years for ferociously yeah during the Nap napoleonic wars of the early 19th century named after the french general napoleon uh, bonaparte who made yeah who made himself emperors of france yeah I mean Napoleon uh, Bonaparte. He he made himself the emperor of France. Yeah. In contrast to the king of the origins, the revolutionary French government could rely on the whole people to make uh, contributions to the war due to the powers of patriotism. Yeah, patriotism. Uh, this allowed the first revolutionaries and later Napoleon to create a formidable yeah formidable fighting machine we set about conquering Europe. Germany was quickly overrun and its sudden and complete defeat was a source of considerable embarrassment to all Germans. Yeah. The Holy uh, Roman Empire by now in Tatars was finally dissolved in uh, 1806 in the wake of Napoleon's conquest. Yeah, conquest. Yet, since there was no German state around which prospective nationalists could rally, the initial, yeah, the initial uh, response was populated in cultural rather than in military term nationalist sentiment focused on the german language yeah on a german language german tradition and a shared sense of history 
Before long, a strong German nation began looking around for a unified German state. The goal was eventually active in 1871 after Germany, uh, appropriately enough, approximately, sorry, approximately, uh, appro appropriately, sorry, appropriately enough, perhaps, had defeated France in wars. Yeah, and the next one, the conquest of Vienna of 1815, where Zerman were reached at the end of the Napoleonic War, uh, was supposed, yeah, was supposed to help return Europe uh, to its pre-revolutionary ways. Yeah, nationalist sentiment were growing across the continent, and they constantly threatened to undermine the settlement. Uh, all over the Europe, national community demanded to be included leading to the politics of their uh, respective country. Nationalism in the first part of the 19th century was a liberal sentiment concerning self-determination, yeah. uh, the rise of the people to determine its own fate. The program had for reaching over implication for the way uh, politics was organized domestically but it also had profound ramification for international politics. Most obviously, the ideas of self-determination undermine the political legitimacy of uh, yeah, Europe's empire. If all the different peoples uh, that these empires contained gained the right to determine their own fates, the maps of Europe would have to be radically yeah, radically redrawn. In 1848, the prospect uh, seemed to become a reality as nationalist uprising quickly spread across the continent. Everywhere, the people demanded the right to rule themselves. Yeah. So uh, that's all. I think that uh, start from yes uh, this part to. The next page, I mean page five, page five, page four. Yeah, uh, and next week we'll call you to this part. Yeah, wait, sorry. Yeah, here. Next week we'll call you to this. Uh, this part. Thank you. When you have any question, you can ask me about the. Uh, pronunciations of each word and also about a meaning in each in each one yeah. okay if you have any question please ask goodbye see you good luck